Well, children and young adults have taken over Park Rapids. The sixth annual Youth Music and Art Showcase event brings music, dance, and art to the community. For this week's In Focus, Sarah Madison explains how this event is all about the kids. This annual Music and Art Showcase event is all about the youth. That's where you have to focus your attention if you want to better the community and better everything, you focus on the youth. It provides young musicians with an opportunity to perform in front of a live audience. I think it's pretty much the best thing that happens in the summertime in Park Rapids. Every year we kind of search throughout the year for young musicians um, to get them together at this event. This experience also gives performers a way to earn money, gain exposure and meet their peers. It's good to see that there are other people our age that have talent. It gives them a sense of confidence and it helps them to to show that they can be talented. It brings a lot of different types of people together, different styles, and that's the cool thing. And for those who are not up on stage, we're busy creating a different form of art. The music and art scene, it's just, I mean, it's kind of, it's easy to go together. I mean, you know, they're both artists, and so we just incorporate it all together. The chalk art on the sidewalk will be here until the rain washes it off, but the drawings done on plywood will be displayed at the Nemeth Art Center. The event is part of the Second Street Stage Summer Music Series at Pioneer Park, and it gives children and young adults one last music bash before school starts. Organizers say it gets bigger and better every year, and hopefully they can continue this tradition for many more years to come. For this week's In Focus, Sarah Madison, Lakeland News. The Park Rapids Lakes Area Art Council hosts the Youth Showcase event. They rely on Region 2 Arts Council grant and they rely on that grant and local sponsors to pay for the performers and other needs. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.